In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Preloader for your Wii. Preloader adds a level of brick protection for your Wii because it loads before the Wii menu. If you want to take advantage of that brick protection, you need to back up your NAND first. If you don't know how to do that, I will put a video in the top right and in the description on how to back up your NAND for the Wii. If you go to the first link in the description, this is the Wii guide that I'm using to make this video right now and it has everything you need so if you want you can just follow this on your own and if that's all you need that's perfect and what preloader allows you to do if you scroll down you'll see a whole list of system menu hacks that you can do including blocking disk updates and online updates this is very important because a homebrew Wii you can't update because you'll break your Wii so that's a really good that's like the main reason I get preloaded but you can do other things region free everything um, you can move the disk channel, but more on that later. Let's get right into the tutorial. So on the first first link right here, just click on Preloader Installer, and it should download the, the app. And once you've done that, open up your USB drive or your SD card, whichever one you're using. And quickly, if you're watching this, trying to get Preloader on your virtual Wii, on your Wii U, do not follow this tutorial. Uh, you will brick your Wii, your VWii by doing this. That's a warning that's on the guide you can see right there. So you have to follow a different tutorial for the Wii U. This is only for the Wii. So first step, let's open up that preloader WinRAR file. Close that and just drag the apps onto the root of your USB drive or SD card. And if you go into your apps folder, you should see that preloader is right there and it should have these four files. I know previous tutorials that I've seen, you've had to go out and look up this this file on your own but with this download you don't need to do that it's already in there so you don't have to worry about that but that is it for the USB drive so let's eject and I'll meet you on the Wii we're on the Wii now and go do the homebrew channel and then we just got to go find preloader in the apps once it loads so go down to preloader mod, preloader installer and just press A, load it up. And to install it, you don't need the internet, everything's already good to go. So once this loads, you can read this, it doesn't come with any warnings, install at your own risk, blah blah blah, of course. And just press A or the plus button and it should look to see if there's preloader and install is done. So just press A to exit back to the loader for the homebrew channel. And now preloader is on your Wii. But if we don't do anything, we can't get any of those system hacks. So what we're going to do is turn the power off on the Wii. And once it's powered off, click the power button and hold the reset button, like so. And this should prompt it to load into preloader and release that took a little bit but now we're we're on it so I'll meet you back on the week so now that we loaded it up you can see the whole list we are now in preloader so from here you can load straight into the system menu homebrew channel boot me iOS launch title but for what we're gonna do we're just gonna go check out system menu hacks and if you remember there's a whole list of the explanation on the first link that i put in the description so if you want an explanation for any of these check that out too but what we're gonna do we're just gonna press a on block disk updates block online updates and all the way down to region free everything these are the ones that the Wii guide suggests that you enable remember don't enable anything that you don't know about but these three ones are totally fine. So once you have those three checked off, click A on save settings. Settings are saved, so just press B. And just so you know, if your app folder is on a USB drive like mine, make sure there is no SD card plugged in because it won't be able to find the proper files and it won't load preloader. I should have said that earlier, but you know, better late than never. And there you go. That's basically all you need to know about Preloader. You can look up more if you'd like.
but now you know how you have it installed and ready to go make sure you back up your NAND so that if you do ever break your Wii you can use preloader to save it anyways I hope this tutorial helped you out if it did make sure to leave a like leave a comment and I'll see you on the next one keep an eye out for more Wii tutorials take care